Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Thursday the 13th of June 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. What I'd love to say that the weather is better but it's still dark wet and miserable um, but it is slightly warmer <laughs> only slightly okay <clears throat> well, let's see what message spirit has for us for today What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit for Thursday the 13th of June 2019? Thank you. <clears throat> oh, thank you. And that's that one as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we'll put that one there because I feel that's where it wanted to place itself. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles, Major Arcana, number 14, Temperance, followed by the King of Swords. So your first card is the Five of Pentacles. Five conflict crisis chaos also the number of challenge and transformation the five of pentacles is crisis and chaos and challenge around finances and resources in the physical when we let ourselves get sucked into this energy and it really is a it's a mind vampire energy um, you can feel very alone um, and although snowdrops are absolutely beautiful they um, they kind of look sad flowers don't they that their, their head is kind of hanging down um, and kind of this is how I'm feeling that some of you are um, I feel like some of you are experiencing the vibration of lack, of the feeling of lack, the illusion of lack. Um, I feel it's isolating you. I see you with your head down. Um, and I really feel that you're kind of in a spiral and you and and off you're going and you, you you've kind of started in this energy uh, not feeling too anxious but i do feel like it's kind of sucking you like a mind vampire okay but next we have Major Arcana number 14 Temperance Major Arcana speaks of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. And temperance reminds you to balance yourself at all times. Temperance here has her foot on firm ground, one toe dipped in the water. She is pouring water from one cup to another. As I actually look at this illustration, I, I see she's sort of got a pyramid, a gold pyramid here on her chest. She's illuminated in the chest area. I always like to think of temperance as balancing out the heart. I see the wings on this on this beautiful lady in, indicating her, her spiritual nature. She understands that from being balanced, 
in her heart there is an, a, a real flow that is restored back to you and then you will be coming from a a place of wholeheartedness where rainbows abound flowers are always in blue and when we balance our heart out against our thoughts and this is you in the physical so I feel that this is what you are thinking and this is the disconnect I'm feeling here between you in the physical and, and your inner you, your spiritual you. So we need to get you reconnected, I am hearing. And next we have the King of Swords. Kings collectively are sword energy. So this is double sword, double air energy. Actually, as I look at him and I, I see he's wearing yellow, um, I really feel he's calling to you to gain some clarity on your situation. And I feel the clarity is, as I look, his throne is really solid, solid. He, he's sitting really firm. He's, um, this king, he's, he's, he uses his logic. He carries a sword, so he would defend you, um, but he would rather um, politic and, and debate the matter over. So he's all about his thoughts and communication. And so I really feel he's turned up to give you the clarity that you need. And the clarity is, how are you talking about yourself in the physical Are you perceiving yourself as having lack? What do you need to change? I feel maybe you need to change how you are speaking about yourself, how you are thinking about yourself. Because in, in this um, negative self-talk, self-thinking, self-belief, it's very isolating. And the more you do it, I feel the more isolated you are becoming. So, a new basis, a new solid basis for you to be coming from is balance yourself out, talk to yourself differently, counsel yourself, be kinder to yourself, nurture yourself, get that equilibrium flowing again restore yourself of course your heart is about care caring caring enough about yourself today to say enough i am not going to think like this anymore because this thinking is just bringing more of the same so i really feel that almost this king of swords is almost like the Emperor uh, and I really feel that he is his own authority setting his own limits and his own boundaries and of course number five the number of challenge healthy challenge so the healthy challenge for you today my friends is be firmer with yourself but in a kind and caring and compassionate way Think about how you are speaking, how you are thinking and how you are speaking, how you are communicating into the world for what you are putting out there is what you are um, bringing back into your experience. Ooh, okay, well, <clears throat> I'm drawn to Angels of Abundance, Doreen and Grant Virtue. <clears throat> What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> A wonderful card to get. 
obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your project. Stay centred in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So attitude for gratitude. So, you know, even if you're down to your last few pence in your pocket, being grateful for that, going and spending one of those pennies. Honestly, my friends, it's changing your perspective I am hearing today, changing how you think about yourself, what you believe I am hearing. Changing that belief is, is what's going to lift the blocks and move you forward on your path. Wow, okay. <clears throat> now, who is calling me? I'm going to stay with angels by the look of it. And it is healing with the angels, Doreen Virtue. <clears throat> What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? For Thursday the 13th of June 2019. Thank you. Okay. So the card freedom comes as a reminder that you are your own jail keeper. You can unlock the door and free yourself, liberate yourself, removing these blocks, it, yourself, it's all in about, I'm, re, I'm hearing really in a big way, it, it's self-belief, what do you believe about yourself to be true? Because this belief is, is what is driving your experience in, in the physical, okay, so, you can remove the, the prison door you can remove the jail keeper <laughs> you are your own jail keeper so liberate yourself today my friends freedom is just on the other side of you <sighs> making a real commitment to yourself to change the way that you think to change the way that you speak to really really come out of victim mentality um, and start, you know, shoulders back, walk tall, look the world right in the eyes. <laughs> I'm sure that was a song by Val Dunican. <laughs> okay. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And I am so late doing this reading today because I have spent most of the day with my trusty steed reorganising the paddock. Because we've gone from a horse that, you know, well, how do you tell a horse that you can't eat grass? <laughs> oh dear. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? For Thursday, thank you. <clears throat> okay. And we have... Whoop. Well, action. So now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams and move forward with confidence. So I did say, you know, start standing tall, shoulders back, look the world in the eyes. Let them know you've changed the way you think. You don't think like that anymore. There's a new you in town. You have removed the prison walls. You have knocked down the prison completely, liberated, freed yourself in doing that. You have removed obstacles and blocks uh, and and you are on your way um, staying centered and staying centered in gratitude is what will keep the flow of abundance coming and really really be firm with yourselves my friends firm but fair I am hearing Wow action from your heart center 
wholehearted action, inspired action, because you are doing something that you love and you want to do will definitely move you forward, will definitely make you feel confident, that's for sure. Oh, wow. OK, well, a very interesting message, but um, I really feel, my friends, that it's just about your self-belief now. I really do feel a lot of you have um, overcome, really, the the energy of number five, Um of, of conflict crisis and struggle and you're kind of um, getting a real handle on all of this but I, I truly feel we need to dig deep now go further and um, change change what you believe about yourself and and remove those limiting um, self-beliefs wow inspired action my friends now is the perfect time to act well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. And thank you, too, for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And the last few I've had, well, moved to tears and really touched my heart. And uh, you know who you are. <laughs> and so may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until tomorrow my friends goodbye <laughs>